Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, is that gonna work? I'm Katie. Um, we're just gonna play around with some makeup. I know I've already got my base done, my foundation, bronzer, contour. You name it, I got it done. All I got left is my eyes. And I know that in my last video, Anna had commented that I should do a date night smoky eye. I haven't done one of those in forever because my go-to has been like a little shimmer and um mascara <laughs> yeah so I got just got done with work Abe is gone finally I don't mind my double chin I'll show you at the end what we're working with here for my little setup my bathroom's under construction if you can't tell by all the plywood or not plywood sheetrock so but anyways I gotta figure out what color we want to do I've been loving my Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette a lot that's been my go-to oh my I really used to like the smoky but that one just not feeling it tonight. And the original naked. Yeah, I've got like every naked palette there is. I haven't done the heat. That's too warm tone today. Well, let's see. Ooh. I haven't played with this one in a while. We are going to play around with the naked reloaded. So I'm just going to take my deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to use the Tetris by Ipsy palette, the purple one, just for like a base shade kind of color. And we, it's the Block Party palettes. And we are going to go in this lightest shade back to back and just a little swirl, make it Go down a little bit so you guys can see me. Ugh. And I always go back and forth and just kind of put that color all over just because the lighting in my spare room went out and I'm too lazy to change it that and I re need to repaint that room anyways. Like an egg buggy. But yeah, I, it's a long day at work. It really was. Like I don't even know how to explain it. And then this is another brush I got from my, one of my Ipsy bags. It's like the Tetris collection one. I don't know, it's, it's a blender. I like to go into Skyline, which is that darker brown. I just dab it. Like that. And then I just put this in my crease. I suppose you guys can't see me. Oh, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Maybe if I come down. Oh, my hair. I tell ya. But yeah. I just bring that in my crease. And that just kind of deepens everything. Don't worry if it's messy right now. And then I go back in and do the other eye. I need a refreshment. If you guys have not tried these, they are amazing. They're my favorite by chance, by far. I'm, ugh, I'm going through a weird phase where I am like super picky on the booze I drink, but I mean, I don't drink much booze anymore actually because I work three jobs 
I work at two bars and I work at the clinic. I ain't got time. I don't go out. But it was kind of nice. This last week I had off like pretty much the entire week. So nice. We worked Monday and then this past Monday was my first day back. So yeah, it was so nice. Okay, so then now I'm just going to take this Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow Brush. It's just a smaller version. And I'm going to take my Naked Reloaded palette and I'm going to go in the shade Bucked. If you can see that. It's super cute. It's like a kind of like a neutral brown, but if I remember correctly, it does like come off dark. So we're just going to Pop that in there. I'm gonna have to go like this. Ugh. And I just put that in the crease. And I kind of bring it in a little bit all over the lid. Because it's kind of. I do things a little diff backwards. So, yeah, I'll go and I'll put that all over the lid again. And I'm going to take that same brush. And we're going to go into Endgame, which is this middle one here. It's like a chocolatey brown, it looks like, with a little bit of like a pink sparkle in it. <sighs> I know for a fact that this one is like super pigmented. And it's like perfect for smoky. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> smoky eye. Which I mean, it's kind of have like a light smoky eye going on right now. But so I'm going to... I really need to get my other room set up a little bit. But yeah, I just pop that into the crease and kind of do like just the outside and I just tap it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then eventually like I start to go like this all the way in. And then I'll close my eye. And same thing. I need to get, I need to get a thing so I can mount my phone like right there, cause my camera doesn't work. So, let's see if this works. Nope, that won't work. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with it because I. Well, it's a little better. Or a little higher up. Yeah. We're supposed to be getting some lights like right here. It hasn't happened yet. But yeah, see how. Oh, I have this one piece of hair. It's gonna bother me so much. There we go. Now, if it'll just stay. By the way, this hairspray works wonders in the summertime. Wonders. So, but anyways, back to what we were doing. So I, uh, we'll add a little bit more. It's okay if it's messy. I would actually prefer for it to be a little messier just because the end result always I don't know, for me it always kind of turns out like right here I've got a line that goes right there which that part is actually kind of bothering me so I'll just take my brush that doesn't really have anything on and just smooth it out sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it is what it is but anyways how was your guys's weekends how was your life um now I'm just back to work. 
I don't know if I told you, Abe's finally on the road. He's gone. So happy. I am, but I am. I'm not. We've sent, like, we've been together for Monday. Let's see, he got home on Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we've been home for, together for, like, eight days. Which is not normal for us. We're both getting to the, we were both at the point, I think. I was, I know that. That I was just getting frustrated because I didn't get what I wanted done around the house. But And I mean, you don't have to use Urban Decay naked eyeshadow palettes. I think um What is it? Maybelline has some, and there's some really good ones on Amazon, which the colors are almost the same. So, okay, so, and then just like with this eye, oof, as I dab my palette. But yeah, and I just smoke it out. And I always go on the lid too because you gotta build that gradient because you can't, you don't want to have a sharp, sharp line. You don't want to have a sharp, like, light and dark. You want to just kind of slowly build it up. Uh -huh. really warm in here today. Oh, we're just gonna add a little bit more darkness. I honestly think even the dog is getting a little fed up with Abe. I had yesterday off so we went back I went back to work on Monday and then I had yesterday off because it's my scheduled day off. And the dog wanted, like, nothing to do with Abe. And it was kind of funny, not going to lie. So, where's my other brush? I brought, like, all my makeup up to the cabin over the weekend for Waterama. Because I thought we were going to go out. But we didn't end up going out. Which... Of course. Let's see. He moved all my stuff around. I don't even know where the rest of my stuff is. Um, I wonder. <laughs> so, we're just going to take this brush again. Now I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do retro. It's like a... Not like a hot pink, but kind of like a salmon pink kind of color. Um, oof. I don't know, I haven't done this in, this look in forever. I used to, this used to be my go-to also. So, and then I'm just going to put this... Like from the middle and just kind of pack it. Just pack it on. I was watching a Tati Westbrook video earlier where she's doing the Pac-Man makeup and it was, it just cracked me up. Um, oh. I'm ready for fall. I really am. So, and then you'll see how that kind of looks a little better than that does. So we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, that is good. We're going to call it good as I pick my nose. 
Mm. Those are honestly the best. I'm going to just take a big fluffy brush and just kind of wipe everything away under my eyes. And then... Take this dark brush again. Just one little dab. And then I just kind of light, very, very lightly. Just kind of go over the crease and the outer corner. And that's all I do for darkness. So now we are actually going to go in with Angel Fire right here. It's like a kind of like a light bait, like off-white kind of pink sparkle or shimmer shade. My hands are all sparkly from my highlighter. And I just take my finger. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. And I just kind of dab it on. Uh, towards the front, I do kind of swipe it on. That's why I like doing the retro color, that pink, because then it just kind of adds a little pink to the undertone of this one. Ugh. It's a long day at work today, too. And then do that to the other eye. And that is that. Ugh, my eyeballs hurt. This is my favorite part. I'm doing my eyeliner. I actually got a new eyeliner the other day. I stopped at Ulta. And I had no idea what kind I wanted. So, I grabbed the Physician's Formula Waterproof in black is black the ultra fine liquid eyeliner and if I would have known that it was a top like like the brush tip I wouldn't have gotten it because I like the felt tips I don't know why but that's just kinda how I like my stuff so I always seem to mess up on these so then we are just going to do, sorry you guys can't see, hmm, <laughs> okay, I'll just do it from here, either way you guys aren't going to see, we, you know what, maybe, as you're looking at my nose, sorry guys. This is the first time I've actually used this eyeliner. I did my sister's makeup for her friend's wedding. Ooh, I like how that turned out. And I used this eyeliner on her. And I didn't like it on... I didn't like putting it on somebody else. Excuse me. Oh yeah. I do that a lot. So, I like drinking and playing with makeup. I never go out. My going out is going to work at the bar, which tomorrow is Friday, and I gotta. Full schedule at the clinic. And then, guess who closes at the bar? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun.
So, ooh, I do like this. Hmm. I honestly do think that is like all the smokier my eyes ever get because otherwise I feel like it's a little too dark. Um, I love that highlighter. It's the Huda Beauty one. I'm debating on if I should work. We're going to wing it. We're going to try to wing it by myself without my vamp stamp. This is where it gets interesting. So my little trick that I used to do all the time is I'd put it like, like right here on my nostril. I'd have it angled and I'd line it up with my lower lash line right here. And I'd make a dot. You see that tiny little dot? And if that way, it's not super noticeable. So if I want it out a little bit more, I'd go like that and make a line. And that'd be my line of reference. So let's try this. Oh gosh, that's gonna be really weird. Ooh, not bad. It's been so long. Oh god. It's <laughs> oh fuck. Well. I've done worse. Now it's just a matter of getting it to match. That's where I struggle. That's the main reason I always use this. It's just literally just a little stamp. So, I can never, never get this to match. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> That's way too low. Oh, whatever. Then I don't have like how flexible these are, these tips. Yeah, that's way too low. <laughs> that's why I use my vamp stamp. So, oh, let's see, where'd my other, good enough because I'm not going out tonight. I'm literally, just figured I'd do a smoky eye with the date night kind of look. Like I literally got home from work and my hair was up in a ponytail. I had no foundation on, no makeup, nothing. And I curled my hair just for you guys. Um, I don't want to know about that. <laughs> now I am just going to go in this has been my combination for a while now the buxom black is black mascara here's the brush it's kind of like a spiky little guy and I do a layer of that a layer of that if I can uh My mascara today apparently and then I do the Thrive liquid Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions in Bren which is a rich black I guess
It's so hard to see. I don't do false lashes. I can't do it. I've tried, just like I can't do contacts. So then I'll go to the other eye. So, yeah. I'm super excited that I. Have, this sounds so horrible. Some of my coworkers laugh at me because I'm always like, I'm so excited. It's gone for the week. They're like, I couldn't imagine not having my husband or boyfriend or whoever having them gone all the time. And I'm like, oh, God. Don't get me wrong. I. I love my fiance. I truly do. But a man gets to you. Okay. And then I just take the buxom one and just do my bottom lashes real quick. And I already did my lips. Actually, is it this one? No. I did just do my lips too. I did. What did I do on them? I don't even remember. Ah! Whoops. Um. Anyways, on the lips, I've got. Oof. We're just going to have to roll with it because it's almost done anyways. Is it this one? No. I don't even know which one it was again. I lost it. This one. No. Yeah, I lost the lip liner that I used. It was a NYX Cosmetics one. Oh, oh, oh is that it? It is. It's the... NYX Professional Makeup NYX Suede Matte Liner in the shade of London, which is like a nude. It's like a camel color almost. Right there. Here. There. So that's what I have lining my lips. And then I put my lipstick on which is the Maybelline right yeah Maybelline baddest beige lipstick and it's just like the perfect nude but yeah this is usually the kind of stuff that I wear for date night do my Hair and makeup, kind of, so pretty similar to this usually, if but we don't go on dates very often. So, but yeah, I just curl my hair, throw on a cute little strappy top with a cute kimono, which by the way, this kimono is adorable, and throw on a pair of distressed jeans, throw on a cute pair of sandals usually. So. This is kind of like my summertime look for date night, spring, summer. Excuse my burps. But yeah, not smoky eye. It's look, got a little bit of pink in it. Yeah. And then to finish it all off, I'd put my setting sprays on. But we're not going to do that because I'm going to be going to bed soon. I just figured I would upload this for you guys today. And then I figured maybe tomorrow morning, while I'm getting ready for work, we could do a, oh, I really do like that, do a get ready with me, how I get ready for the day when I have to work at both the clinic and at the bar. So, any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this channel or like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let your friends know. It's a super, super easy tutorials. And I mean, 
If there's things you guys want me to talk about, that's fine. If you guys want me to review a product, I'll get it and I'll review it. If you guys want to just sit here and drink, I need subscribers so that we can do lives. Um, and then follow me on all my socials. So, 